Hello and welcome to sim.pc where right now is 1826 and oh my days have we much to catch up on because I was starting to record a while ago but then I realized ah, the camera shut off. Rookie mistake, you know what I did? I promise that or I think that you have a certain idea what I did already. It was the fact that I didn't actually recharge the battery in me camera. Now I know, I know that's a bit of an easy mistake to do. Everybody does it once or twice in their life for you know once or twice a week <laughs> and to me it just happened to happen right now you see I was actually starting using the camera and I saw that oh I have two so to say two parts of the battery left but oh my days were I wrong it took less than a millisecond for the second part to drop and then it was just the last one I was thinking hmm maybe because it was so fast to drop from the second one to the third one you know to the third part of the battery life the third of the battery life that wow maybe it's like an iPhone that when it says 1% it holds for the entire day but no 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 that was not what happened no, 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 it actually is completely it was shut off. And this was about six minutes into the video. So I have some form of idea what I'm actually working with here today. Yeah, for once, yeah, for once. And I can say that I've been doing some studies today as well. So, well, I was prepared anyway. But now I have even had more preparation because I was halfway into the video anyway. But I did what any ordinary self-responsible, you know, self-disciplined adult would do. When it crashed, I stopped all of the production and I went to the refrigerator, I looked for some chocolate and I put one little piece in my mouth. <laughs> That turned out to be two pieces, and then it was four, and then I thought, hmm, I, you know, I'm a good guy, I never eat chocolate anyway, so it became five, and six, and seven, and eight, and, well, in short, I don't have any chocolate left, but that is not why you're here now, is it? No, 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 you're here to listen to me rambling on about what evil is, trying to find the conclusion, trying to find or reach a conclusion of what evil actually is, and as you can see, there is a bit of a lighting change, yeah? This one isn't on because I heard someone saying that, well, you see, in your videos, you're probably getting a clearer picture if you don't have anything above your head that, like, displays light from the back side because you're kind of shattering your own face. And I'm like, hmm, don't I do that anyway because the light from down here is so much, you know, from below, but anyway, anyway, we're getting into the discussion mates, and hopefully this time the camera will hold out as long as I do, because I kind of need to run to the gym after this, because I'm meeting up with some mates, so yeah, that is the basic idea of it, so we kind of need to actually excel today, and we will, we will, oh my days, if we will, because today, as I said, I've been looking into some articles, yet again, I've been looking into some structures, some websites, some shady stuff, some unshady stuff, I've been reading some news articles, because today, we're talking about social media, no, we're actually not, that's all what we talked about yesterday, and social media is good and all of that, in a way, depending on how you view it, some people actually think it's evil, mm -hmm, as we said yesterday, depending on how you, as a person, as a user, operates on the different sites, but it's not only the social media, we also took off that advertising and companies and people don't like him. You know, big surprise there, I know, but what people are saying is that, hmm, if you're turning to the newspapers, it's even worse than a, you know, a physique that no one can attain. It's not that kind of marketing that is the problem. No, no, no. We're talking about the doom and the gloom because that is what all of the newspapers opens up with nowadays now, isn't it? It's always the doom and gloom. It's always the the world is ending. The bees are dying. The, I don't know, the human race is like a cancer on the planet that kills it successfully or successfully, uh, you know, a bit every day and we, oh, we're just bad people, everyone. And you're probably a bad person even if you sit there and you know um, donating money to charity you're probably still a bad person in some way or another because you're probably breathing now aren't you so some people are saying that well all of these newspapers they are spreading some values and some perceptions that can be seen as evil in a way not evil to any particular person but evil to everybody and it also conveys evil because newspapers when they're having these doom and gloom you know the weird stuff the bad stuff what is happening in the world that is bad but they don't take up anything that's good well you know, marginally in comparison to all of the bad things, that is also sharing an evil perspective on, you know, society, because that makes me, as a reader, yeah, as a viewer of a site, I may, makes me feel like the world is kind of shitty, now doesn't it? And that is evil within itself. So, just to give you a quick part, no, a quick demonstration of this, let me just grab my phone. 
for a second because I'm not one of the neo normal students, you know. I haven't actually my phone on me at all times. And I don't gonna say this. I'm I've been doing some surveys, you know, some reviews, some of this, not a survey, but I'm going to say as any good student does when it comes to the surveys, I've been asking some of my mates and I've been completely I've been making them completely anonymous so that nobody can check, you know, the facts in true, true student fashion. Am I right? You know, doing my ex uh, my thesis and all of that. Anyway, but that's because of, yeah, yeah it's, it's more complicated. It's about, you know, sensitive topics and all of that. So they kind of need to be, um, well, I can't, I, they kind of need to be anonymous. But if we're just viewing the top stories here on my phone, we can see that, uh, well, if we just look into it, military, military deploy after spy poisoning. Human genome pioneer John Solution. Uh, dies. Okay, that, no, that's not that good either. Uh, tariff risk the race to the bottom. Yeah, that's not good either. Guardian find over yellow ribbon. Okay, fine. That's not good either. Burger flipped robot taken offline. Oh no, it's taken offline. Why? Why? Africa only female president to quit. Well, to quit, not to be, you know, assigned. Uh, top Indian cricket charged with violence. With violence? What is this? Kenyan political rivals now brothers. Well, that's actually kind of good in a way, perhaps. I haven't actually read the article yet. Would be Catalan leaders stay in jail. In jail, you see all of the negative perceptions. And it's just thrown up you at you and this is just the top stories of the BBC of the BBC news which is it well I can't say that these are the things I would like to give to a child and say that well would you like to learn about the world when they're like yeah I want to learn about the world and you're saying okay that's awesome do you know what you're going to learn about and they're like no what am I gonna learn about well I'm gonna give you all of the newspapers so you can get the good and critical view of the society as we live in it today and you can see all the good and all the bad and they're like yeah what is actually the good and bad you might say well it's about 90% bad and no sorry 95% bad or is it 99% bad and a marginal slice of life goodness inside there with some twist making it bad and they're like yeah well, what, no because that's not what you want to do now is it you don't want to give a child this news pieces right because they're not funny, they're not good, they're not conveying any good message, at least not in my opinion. It's always the doom and gloom, right? It's always the, we're gonna die, we're bad, we're bad, you're bad, I'm bad, they are bad, they are worse, they are always bad, and all of us are bad, in a way, and everything that happens in the world is bad. And this idea, if we're connecting it, yeah, back to them evil stuff, is that the thing that we're getting into is that many people believe that this kind of perception this kind of view on society created by news pieces are contributing to a very evil society, a very evil medium, a very, what should we say, evil perception. And, of course, as well, the perception that while delivering these evil perspectives, so to say, the quote-unquote evil, because we yet again haven't actually defined what evil is. That's the entire point of this little project here. They're saying that, well, actually projecting all of these negative thoughts are evil in a way, because that makes people feel... Yeah, it makes I as the general viewer feel like the world is bad, really bad, perhaps more bad than it actually is. I mean, I know, right, or I, I'm open to the interpretation, I'm open for the possibility that everything in the world isn't correct and right and happy all of the time. Now, that would just be ignorant to assume such a statement, to assume such a viewpoint of society and of the world. However, I do not believe that it's equally as bad as all of the newspapers try to paint it out to be. And I understand it in a way, because when I was looking into it, the usual, so to say, the usual argument for why it looks like it does is because, well, we need to sell them papers now, don't we? So we need to change the topics of the, all of the titles so that it's actually conveying some sort of urgency so that people actually want to go in there and want to read the article. Because how, how funny is it to read an article that says, everything's great. Everything's good. No no problem here at all. There is no friction. There's no tension. There's no conflict. There is no problem. There is no solution because there was no problem. And, well, everything is just kind of good. It's just like it was yesterday. And I kind of understand that. Yeah, sure. There is a problem there with saying that, well, simultaneously, as I want to show off a problem-free world in a sense, you know, show off that in some places of the world, it isn't a problem. In some places of the world, there are actually good things happening. 
Well, the top stories yet again tend to be all of these. Well, we, we need to still, you know, get them views in, right? Get them readers in. It's a, kind of the same thing as, well, when you look at YouTube and you see all of the YouTube drama everywhere, everywhere there's drama. Why? Well, because clickbait and that brings in them views. It's the, it's the same kind of idea there. It's the same kind of policy that's go in and about. And when you actually start reading these articles by a person thrown in jail for no reason, and then you read the article and it turns out, well, there was actually quite a good reason it's just that one person at the street on the corner of the next city next to the one that nobody actually knows the name of you know married into the cousin it was a bit weird you know nobody actually knows the name of him he, he said that it was from no reason right but when you actually read the article you can see that well it, it actually was a kind of good reason why this person was thrown in jail and this sort of idea, this sort of mentality, when you actually look into the source critique of these articles, you can see that, well, it is kind of a clickbaity title because it's not at all to do with anything that's actually presented in the article. And yet again, this is the evil, so to say, quote unquote, the evil that many people are pointing towards. That, well, if people can do this, for once, it's throwing off society. It makes it feel like and it makes it look like that society is really bad in all different ways that it could be. People are throwing, you know, people are angry that the the newspapers are saying one thing and then they believe that the world is another but then that those two two things get in contrast with each other and their life actually getting worse because of how the media is trying to well show off the world because them clicks you know because of they need to get, retain them viewers so that is one thing the other thing is that well when the media is doing this not only are they diminishing the well what you would say the life and the uh, the overall environment of these people but they're actually also throwing off this what you would say this rather negative vibe overall that's affecting other types of media that are affecting other types of what you would say other types of work because people are might be used this and read this article and they can use that as a basis for when they're discussing with their colleagues at work yeah, so they can say that well perhaps they've just you know, skimmed through all of the top stories and they haven't actually read them that well and they haven't applied source critique, they haven't actually looked at the methodology, how they went about actually finding these things, haven't looked at the method of how they find these things and sometimes it's just simply not stated at all. So then they might use this as the basis for their arguments when they're standing at the water cooler, yeah, just talking with the mates and saying have you heard about the guy who was thrown in jail for no reason and they're like oh, the guy who was thrown in jail for no recent that can't be right and you're like yeah i read it in the blah 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 newspaper somewhat wherever and well this is the other evil thing that it kind of multiplies it kind of procreates this idea that i want to spread my knowledge that i'm taking part of in the newspaper and yet again it's not that always that true and always that good and especially if you think about it, if we're going full circle to what I was discussing in the beginning if you take up the idea that not only is it clickbaity at times well a good 78% of the time in my experience right in my experience let's relieve it to that and some of the articles that I reviewed over the course of the day and some of them may say I will stay anonymous you know student life Anyway, it's not only that, it's also that if you're multiplying what you're reading, so I'm reading about it and then I'm discussing, uses that as the basis for what am I discussing. Which way will these discussions go in if I've read 95% bad, what should we say, not bad, but like um, negative news? The, the conversation will probably tend to go in a very negative direction now, wouldn't it? Because I've been reading all of them negative uh, wow, views. I've been reading all of them negative news, taking part of all of those negative views of society, views of how we're supposed to act and how we're actually acting and the impact of it and the, and the consequences of that and so on and so forth. And when I go and talk to people, well, I'm actually mentioning that a lot of the time, which is not good at all. Because then I'm spreading these things to other people and that, in a sense, is also a basis to what is actually evil with the news not only that well some people are saying that the news are fake and the news are actually bad and everybody's making up the news i mean in some form or fashion you can manipulate statistics so that it actually looks in that way and i can see the argument for why but that's not what i'm trying to get at here no 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 what i'm trying to get that is the idea that the two things yet again, when you read the articles, you get a negative perception of the world or a more negative perception than needs to be because you don't get your positive news, right? So you, that is kind of diminishing the environment around you simultaneously, yeah, as 
you're getting such an improportionately bigger amount of negative views and negative news that you're then reviewing and using as the basis for your conversation later on in the day, which is spreading this negative, 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 negative message, which in a sense, according to some people, is what evil is all about spreading a wrong message kind of the same idea that we were getting it yesterday this idea of lying but this time you're not actively lying because you don't know that you're lying which is another topic for another time if you're actually speaking if you think that you're speaking the truth but it's not true are you lying hmm but this is kind of the idea that many people are throwing out there if you're reading something that is wrong or something that is really negative and then you're spreading this improportionally negative view and attitude is that evil is that you who's doing the evil? Is it the news or has inspired you or influenced you to do something evil? And is it evil to begin with? Well, I don't know, actually. But it's one of the interesting things that I found today. So I'm going to continue, dig down in this, and actually look at some characters tomorrow. No, tomorrow is the SNR, the Saturday News Recap. But after that, I will probably look into some characters that are very different, that are very different, but still people are kind of categorizing in the same vision, in the same place, and saying that, well, they're all evil, mate. Which I think is pretty interesting and pretty... Well, it's something we're gonna get into anyway. But that was everything for me today, mates. Have a nice one and I'll see you tomorrow with the SNR. See you, mates.